blow to that child's leg and to say that you did not recognize what had been done, to ignore what must have been the excruciating sounds that came from that child on a daily basis is more than disconcerting to this court. And as such, the court finds it appropriate that each be sentenced to the State Department of Corrections for a period of life. You will get credit for any of the time that you've What you just watched is a YouTube clip of um, two girls by the name of Erica May Butts and Shanita Latrice Cunningham that pretty much were two lesbian lovers um, that were sentenced to life in prison for murdering a three-year-old girl. Uh, I read in the newspaper of the Daily Mail and pretty much they covered the whole reporting and I pretty much wanted to read it for you guys so you can get a better understanding clear idea of uh, what happened in the courtroom a Charleston courtroom was a setting for a bizarre scene when two lesbian lovers collapsed wailed uncontrollably and hyperventilated at the hearing they will serve life for killing a three-year-old girl Erica Mae Butts and Shanita Latrice Cunningham had to be picked up off the floor by court officials and held in chairs as they were wheeled out of the room the mother of Butts was physically thrown out by three staff members after shouting loudly at her daughter to get up and screaming, I can't leave my baby like this. My baby is out. A sobs echo from the gallery, a clerk can be heard to ask, do we have any EMT in the building? While others try to get a painting Butts to show down her breathing, Butts and Cunningham, both 25 from Somerville, South Carolina, were told on Friday they will spend the rest of their lives in prison for beating Serenity Richardson to death in 2009 while the toddler was in their care. Serenity was visiting Butts, her godmother, and her mother's best friend, Anne Cunningham, who was Butts' lover for two weeks at their home in Somerville, South Carolina, when their abuse 
took place. It is nearly impossible for words to accurately describe what these women did to that poor little girl, said Elizabeth Gordon, assistant managing solicitor to Charleston County. They beat her repeatedly, both with a belt and with plastic coat hangers. You can see the outline of the strikes on this child's body. There is not one area of this child's body that was unharmed except for the soles of her feet. But admitted to Somerville police on Thursday that she whipped Serenity with a belt for ur urinating on the floor. Serenity mother Lishia Richardson, a childhood friend of Butts, lived in Detroit. The explanation they gave for the beating was that Serenity had a potty accident. Ms. Gordon said the explanation is, we don't know what we did would have killed her. They knew what they did was wrong. By the time paramedics reached Serenity, she was already dead and had been placed on ice and exposed to bleach in desperate attempt to revive her. Circuit Court Judge Deandra, uh, Deandra Richardson said nothing had ever affected her as strongly as a photo of the little girl battered body. In August, Butt entered an Alford plea, meaning she maintained her innocence, but acknowledged that taking her case to trial would likely result in a conviction. Cunningham pleaded guilty. Butt had been in the hospital with Lishia when she gave birth to Serenity, her only child. She had been the only person Butt confided in after she was raped at the age of 15. I was responsible for things, but I would never kill her, Butt said. According to the Post and Courier, then, practically screaming through her sobs, she turned to Lashia and said, I will always love you no matter what. I just want to tell you I'm so, so sorry. During the hearing, Cunningham attorney said her client was less culpable than Butts and Little Girl's death. But the attorney instead portrayed Cunningham as a controlling and aggressive partner in an abusive relationship, while describing Butt as a meek woman, a Post and Courier reported. Sentencing the killer, Judge Richardson said to ignore what must have been excruciating sounds that came from that child was more than disconcerting to this court. As such, the court finds it appropriate that each be sentenced to the State Department of Correction for a period of life. Her words sparked the outpouring of emotion.